guys, Infernape here. Now, if you guys didn't know, I like a lot more than just anime. And, well, Pokemon. I also am a big fan of the MCU. And, as you, you know, I have made other Marvel content in the past. And I feel like I would, um, I wanted to make more Marvel content. So, I decided to go over my top five favorite Avengers. Let's be honest. Every Marvel fan has a favorite Avenger. And maybe at maybe top five, maybe even top ten. So that's what I'm going to be discussing. I found out these top five based on, well, whatever I want. They're my favorites. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. If one of your favorite Avengers was on this list. If you think I missed an Avenger. Who your favorite Avenger is. And if you have any video suggestions for the future. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. So without further ado, let's get into the video! At number 5, we have Ant-Man. Now when I first saw the advert for Ant-Man, I originally thought, Oh, this is the stupidest name for a superhero ever, me! But despite how I thought oh, that, that his superpowers were a bit lame at the first, the movie did look interesting, so I thought, hey, why not give it a go? So I went down and watched it, and it was absolutely amazing. I really love Scott's character. He was originally a big-time criminal who got, sh got shoved out into prison, but now wants to turn over a new leaf, so that way he can have visitation rights to his daughter. Now that is, well good development even though we don't really see it on screen we kind of that's kind of what we expect going into it but still it's a pretty good character if you ask me plus now i think that his powers are very very interesting his suit allows him to shrink to the size of an ant and also grow as big as a chitari leviathan now that is pretty badass plus i'm a big fan of comedic characters in the Avengers and I have to say Scott is probably one of the funniest characters in the entire MCU. Maybe because of the fact that he was previously on Friends and he kind of got his comedic side from Friends? I don't know but I do know that he is an amazing Avenger. I cannot get enough of watching his movies. I'm also looking forward to watching Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. I can guarantee you that's going to be one amazing film. At number four, we have Star-Lord. Now, this guy has one of the saddest backstories in all of the Avengers. Like, let's run it down quickly. His father, well, wasn't around by the time he was conceived. His mother died of a brain tumour which his father placed into hit her, like, that's kind of cruel. Not to mention, and his father hired Yondu to go kidnap him, so that way he could use him as a battery to remake the entire universe in his own design. But Yondu decided to keep Peter, so that way he doesn't end up dying and being used as a battery. So he raised him as his own son, but not knowing that he actually cares about him. He treated him like crap and constantly he, like, belittled him, mentally tortured him, saying stuff like, if you don't do this, the entire crew's going to eat you, that kind of thing. But despite all that, he ends up, like, being one of the uh, best characters in all of Marvel. Like, he had every reason to go bad, but he ended up being a good guy. Like, I mean, yes, he did start, kind of start off being a bad guy, kind of, because, you know, Yondu taught him how to steal, he got a name for himself for being a criminal, but he did turn it around. I love the fact that after all that crap, he ends up being a happy-go-lucky guy with a one-track mind. To be funny whenever uh, he can, to make as many 80s references as he can, and also, get it in a decent dance battle, because you know, why not? <laughs> I haven't actually seen Footloose, like, I know he thinks it's one of the greatest movies ever, but I have no idea if it's 
even that good. So maybe I have to give it a watch. Still, Peter is by far one of the greatest characters in Marvel. You cannot deny that he is an amazing character. At number three, we have Iron Man. You know why he's here. He's a legend, he's the OG, and he loves us 3000. Tony is literally the biggest, fattest mood in all of Marvel history. And you cannot deny that. I just love he that he will do and say whatever, not give a crap, and doesn't care about the consequences of what he says. Like, he is just the biggest mood. Plus, I also find it funny how he literally blows through all his money like it's money like it's toilet paper, and he uses it for the craziest things. Especially <laughs> that plane scene in the first movie. Like, the plane scene in the first Iron Man movie. Oh, what a way to use your money. I just cannot get enough of watching Tony, no matter what Marvel movie he's in. Like, every scene, every movie, he always makes it interesting, and I cannot take my eyes off him. He is by far one of the best Avengers in all of Marvel history. Plus, compared to all the other Avengers, to me, he's probably the funniest out of all of them too. At number two, we have Thor. The main reason I like Thor is because he has all of the super powers that I really, really like. Super strength, electrokinesis, and flight. I really enjoyed watching all of Thor's movies. The first one was pretty good, but it did have some rough edges, mainly probably because it was the first ever Thor movie. Second movie was absolutely GOAT. You cannot deny that the second Thor movie was GOAT. Then there's Thor Ragnarok. By far the best Thor movie out of all of them, in my own opinion. Thor Love and Thunder was alright, but I definitely preferred Thor Ragnarok. I also find it really funny how his dumbness for current Earth language, culture and technology is just funny. You cannot deny it, it is funny as hell. Plus, like, this guy is just an absolute mood. Like, he had a really sad life. His entire family is dead. Like, he's re somewhat responsible for half of the uh, population of the universe getting wiped out in half. And, like, he's also, well, he just has a really bad life. You cannot deny it. And how does he do it? settle his demons? By drinking a crap ton of alcohol, never exercising, and playing Fortnite. You cannot deny. He's a mood. Like, you cannot blame him for drinking his sorrows away. He is just so funny. And I love all of his fight scenes. And finally, in number one, we have Spider-Man. Spider-Man was my childhood. I grew up watching the 1994 cartoons and as well as the Tobey Maguire movies and they were both a massive part of my childhood. If I had to pick a favourite Spider-Man, I'd have to go with Toby, mainly because I'm biased. I grew up watching his movies, and he just is Spider-Man to me. Like, I'm sure that you guys probably don't know what I'm talking about, or don't agree, but Tobey Maguire just is Spider-Man, because of the fact that he plays a very good Spider-Man, but also a very good Peter Parker, while Andrew Garfield plays a better, well, Spider-Man, and then Tom plays a better Peter Parker. 
So I think that Toby is the better out of the three because he does well at playing both. If I had to pick a least favourite out of the three, I'm going to have to say Andrew Garfield. But that doesn't mean I don't like him. I absolutely loved his movies. Like, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 was a great movie. I also really like Tom's version of Spider-Man. Like, he also... Like, I always love the fact that his version always, well, screws up his plans, but always had the best intentions. Like, for example, the outcome of the final old um, movie that he was in, like, that never would have happened if he never gave Mysterio Edith. Like, he, um, he always had the best intentions, but because of his careless misjudgment, he always screws up. But I, I just find that really funny. Plus, No Way Home has to be one of the greatest Marvel mil movies in all of history. Like, it's got to be one of the greatest movies in history. I mean, that's just my p personal opinion, but I absolutely love it. I know that having Spider-Man as my favourite Avenger is basic, but I don't care. I love Spider-Man, and everybody out there who also loves Spider-Man can agree with me that Spider-Man has to be one of the greatest superheroes of all time. And now, it, guys, hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. What are some of your favourite Avengers? If you think I missed an Avenger, and if you have any video suggestions for the future, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. Did you enjoy the video as much as I did making it? If you did, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment down below, share this video with a friend, and if you're new, subscribe to my channel with Inferno today. Okay, that's all from me, so until the next time, this is Inferno, signing off. Bye!